All right, just got the cable that I needed. Little extension cable for the speakers. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Alpha Road. Truck meet over there. It's going to slow down for the truck or not. It just went. It went over two lines and what is it doing now? Just some little things. I don't know. I'm just gonna do the little reporting because, as I know, um, it reports five minutes of the clip. I talked to the engineers because it did make that little mistake before. Now turn left onto Guthrie Lane. Uh, okay, why are you saying? Pay attention, I'm looking at the screen on the road. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So far it's doing okay on everything. Other than that little confusion on between the roads. stop again and it's going pretty good so far it's been great just a great ride overall today um, getting more comfortable with it again after I made that little mistake uh, several days ago on the right turn it made me a little bit uncomfortable trusting the car fully again because I would use it like daily on everything on the worst and best settings basically assertive and auto lane change everything I'm still not perfectly comfortable with it doing auto lane changes so I took that off it makes like wrong changes sometimes that it's not supposed to do it makes a ride a little bit worse than it needs to be so so far you guys have seen a lot of the stop signs I'm still not on the new update so it's doing pretty good on the stop signs I don't exactly know why they are updating the car to not do like rolling stop signs rolling stops I mean roundabout again this kid just ran across the roundabout okay stop for the people because you saw a kid run across of it that was pretty good it's doing pretty good here again I'm gonna go down to maybe like 26 okay now it's being a little bit weird doesn't need to be like this far to the right side of the road as far as I know based on my experience driving for over four months now with uh, FSD um, it's not that comfortable with unmarked roads like roads like this there is still markings on the sides and like stop signs and everything but there's no like 
middle line or anything like that so it doesn't feel that comfortable driving on those roads so I'm a little bit more cautious see like a normal person would have just like fully stopped or maybe done a rolling stop then just went it's like way too careful and it's good that's a good thing that it's that careful with uh, lane changes and stops and um, things like that so great stop again It's kind of dangerous, but it's like if they know how to do it, they know how to do it. So, and it's a bike, so it's not, he's not going like on a motorcycle, like 50 miles per hour, doing a wheelie. Just overall, he's doing great. This is a pretty nice ride, not that many turns, just a normal, like, neighborhood. Uh, a few turns, few stops, turn left onto Auburn Way. some unprotected turns and stuff, so as you guys saw, he drives pretty good on freeway, he drives no great on onto Auburn Way. like neighborhoods, so okay, that was an aggressive turn. <laughs> Let's see how much space it gives this guy, that's, that's great again. As you guys saw, he moved to the left side of the road because that person was in his car with the door open. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. Okay. And after this, I'm gonna end the video. Okay, I'm gonna disengage it here and park, but now your destination is on the left. That's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. And I'm gonna do it like a part two of this video going back to my home maybe the day after this on Monday. I'm gonna post this part of the video on Sunday.